you're not doing Euclidean geometry though, and you're using curvy lines, then you're doing some other batshit crazy comment, uh, geometry. I get to your community post then. Oh, I'll look for my. Oh, there it is. Which one? Yeah. Right. Okay, so screen share. Yeah, it's on screen now. <clears throat> All right, this is um, domesticated primates meme. Now, some people um, think that they shouldn't have names on them or pictures or whatever. It's making a point. The story is. Whoever this lead character is, it can be anyone, whoever's in charge on their side. We need to get our act together. Do we or do we not have a horizon? Rumpus. Apparent. Brenda. Geometric. Idiot. Let's just say they've disproved the radius, and they obviously he gets kicked out the window. Now, the problem is they're still in a flurry over this because they're all, they haven't got the story straight, for starters. And the story that we're getting from the bulk of them is that, well, you can see the geometric, you can't see the geometric horizon, but it is there. So I want to just focus on a couple of key people um, that make comments. So, Ruhif, how many years have we been telling you idiots to go straight to the refracted hidden and ignore the geometric? So I said, you can see that you don't have a geometric. Welcome to Flat Earth. You need to be able to prove a geometric one exists, not just matches your model once in a while. Evidence, not calculation. Calculations are not reality. And he comes back to me and he says, there is a geometric horizon. It's what you would see if there was no atmosphere. Outside of that description, it's pretty much useless. Why do I need to prove a geometric horizon? Sounds like a straw man. Well, obviously, it's not a straw man. It's the imperi It's it's everything that their model is based on. It is not a straw man. But I said, Hold if, on. just if before you, you respond, it, just before you respond, read his last statement again. Why do I need to prove a geometric horizon? Sounds to block like a straw things. Man. To block things in the distance, for boats to go over, to bend at altitude, to apply a hidden value. That's why you complete an utter moron. You've asserted that stuff's being hidden at a particular value. Well, what do you think it's being hidden by? Yep. So I said in response, Rue, if, if you can't prove it, it doesn't exist like gravity. They need gravity in their model and they see things falling. They ignore helium balloons that rise and they ignore the effect of the medium on the object in, in the medium. They ignore that effect. But it's like gravity. Unless you can prove that it's a thing, it's not a thing just because your model needs it. So basically, Ruif doesn't realize yet that just because he needs a geometric horizon doesn't mean he's actually got one. He's happy with the calculation. He ignores the need to have the evidence to support the calculation. Well, we want that evidence. And everybody that's on the ball earth side should also be asking, yeah, we, they've got a point there. Where is the evidence for the geometric horizon? Because if you haven't got evidence of a geometric horizon curve, then boats ain't going over it. We're seeing a refracted, or we're seeing a, a distorted, refracted, whatever description you want to use, we're seeing the horizon that does weird shit. But how do we prove it's geometric? Well, thankfully, we don't have to, but they do. So just calculating it, don't make it true. And Ruhif doesn't realise that yet. He still thinks that he can calculate it, therefore it's true. And we all need to point it out to him that he's a moron. Um, a couple of other comments. Uh, let's see if I can see. Here we go. Sleeping Warrior. Hold on. You just ended the flat earth debate with your comment to Ruhif. You said, quote, if you can't prove it, it doesn't exist. You have never proven flat earth. You can't define flat earth. So therefore, the flat earth doesn't exist. Now go to your room, shut down your channel and shut up. Okay, just, before, is, you, what, just before we get on to your, this guy with his straw man red herring obfuscation. So if you haven't got a geometric horizon... You can't do geometry. Correct. They haven't. They've not worked it out yet. They still think that it exists, and they can assume it. So it's gone from now assuming R to assuming geometric horizon. They've not realised that you need evidence for it. Ruiz still thinks that it's there just because he can't see it. That's acceptable. And we're saying no. We want to see proof that there's a geometric horizon. Measure it. Prove it. I mean, it's only over a mile. I mean, how hard can it be? You, sh you should see curve over a mile. So why can't it be measured? Where is the science that proves that, that standing water will drop? <sighs> anyway, uh, there's loads on here. There's, there's so many things to on here, but Ruif, sure, you're but just lying yourself to save an already dead religion. It's only, yep. by the looks of what I can see, it's only Ruif with the, the usual toe-in-the-line fundy response. But Ruif got involved in the Isle of Man debate and asserted that a physical geometric horizon was obscuring the bottom of the island to a certain degree. Now, if the geometry could only be done if there was no atmosphere, and by their own omission, 
the light is being refracted to come up with refracted maths for that calculation, then all of their maths that you're saying he hangs his hat on still is bunk. Every single thing that they did for the Isle of Man calculations, all of it, null and void. You can't do geometry if you haven't got a geometric horizon. You certainly can't assert that it's blocking stuff in the distance, especially if the stuff in the distance that you're claiming is supposed to be in a physical fixed position is refracted. You can't perform geometry in those circumstances. You haven't got straight lines anymore. So how are you going to assert you've got a straight line tangent to work out how much obstruction you've got from the physical horizon? You now deny, Ruhif! You complete moron! He's asking why he has to prove a physical geometric horizon. Uh, to back your assertions you made about my cold lighthouse and the Isle of Man, because that was utilising a physical geometric horizon obstruction that you barked on about for ages, Ruhif. Why do you need to prove it's real? To back the bullshit you've already claimed here. Because if it's not real, none of the claims you made in regards to the Isle of Man are correct anymore. And you can't claim they are, because apparently it's all refracted light. So you can't do your geometry, moron. Why do you need a horizon to back your current bullshit? It's what you believe. It's your religion, you moron. I can't believe these idiots. I thought you had more intelligence than this, Ruhif. I thought you'd appreciate that if you haven't got any geometric horizons, you're not going to be doing geometry. And if you don't need to claim you've got a physical geometric earth curve edge, then none of your claims about there being a physical geometric earth curve edge blocking islands in the distance make any sense anymore. Now you get it, Ruhif, if you stupid dick. It shows exactly, this middle box shows exactly the, 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 the mess that they're in. They don't, they don't have the story straight. They don't have any physics for it. And this moron over here thinks that if, at best, you've disproved the radius as though that was some kind of like minor, like a minor like um, concession. No, if we disprove the radius, mate, your whole model fails. Hence why you've been kicked out the window by whoever this might be. Jeremy, I suppose. Looks a bit like Jeremy with them eyes. Well, you but can't... Yeah, you can't have you can't have any physics or math for it because all along it's been a Jedi mind trick. It's not there. Correct. It's never been there. This is the whole trick they have now with the black swan and the videos and pictures from a one foot high elevation shows something that should be there is not there. Now they have to come to a realization that it's just been a trick, a Jedi mind trick. It's fictitious. It's all fictitious. Even the geographers call it fictitious. Because math doesn't work out their model. So if math doesn't work out their model, what's their model? Yeah, and a big shout out to the people on our side that now get it. Um, this, it's nice to see people pushing it. It's nice to see, for like, for example, Mitchell from Australia. He gets it. He's pushing it. It's great. Mark Sargent, he gets it. He's pushing it. It's great. How can you measure a refracted uh, horizon if you don't even have the geometric one? <laughs> yeah, the geometric one is based on the R value and so is the refraction that they're going to be applying but in order to do that refracted value and assert the physicality of the horizon that's causing the obstruction they need to be doing straight line geometry and they're claiming to have bent lines so their geometry is completely bunk they don't have an R value anymore because they don't have a geometric horizon anymore up until now it was always assumed that they had the geometric horizon they necessitated for their model and we assumed it along with them well, not anymore. Now they're telling us we don't have a geometric horizon. Why would we need one, Ruhif? If, well, to back the claims that it's blocking the Isle of Man that you made quite extensively, that would be the geometric physical obstruction that you drew straight lines to whilst claiming the light was bending. Your whole geometry's bunk. It would also support the claim that boats go over a horizon. It would also support the claim that we live on a sphere. I mean... <laughs> It is the paramount point. It is the big point that everybody gets told by popular science that we live on a sphere because of the horizon. It's supposed to be the leading edge of a sphere. It's clearly not, is it? It's optical. So we still need evidence of that geometric curve or that curvature from any perspective. We still need, still need to see it. It ties into question one on housekeeping. Any evidence of curvature? Absolutely none. It's just assumed in maths. Maths, it doesn't work anymore because the geometric assumption had limitations to the physicality the sphere would have to be if you were standing on a sphere. And those geometric limitations have now been breached. The R value has been debunked. You can no longer trust it. Ah, fundies, you don't have it anymore. It's been debunked by the black swan. Well, the R value is the very tenant of your religion that you need to hang everything on. So saying, oh, well, do I need a geometric horizon? 
Well, because you need it to block stuff. You need boats to go over it. You need to curve it at altitude to claim that Earth's spherical. That's why it's your religion. That's why you need a geometric horizon, you bunch of morons. 